So, I finished S rank. You'd think that would be it, wouldn't you? Yeah. But wait. If we go back here, and we ask to do it again, you'll notice S rank is now yellow, and it is not checked. Hmm. Do you still have to pay for it again? Not that it really matters, because it's only 6,000 and the ergo drop in the bucket at this point. Yes. Ladies and All right. gentlemen, the S rank match is about to begin. So the first thing you'll notice is that the announcer lady is back. player in the whole wide galaxy. But she's the first bout. excitement. Yeah, as opposed to the second to last. Battle. Here comes the first round. So looks like the same team though. Yeah, but their stats are different. Oh joy! All of their stats have been improved since last time. Jeez, they were already pretty beefy before. And there is one other difference. See if you can tell what it is. Time to tap into my secret reserves. Oh, they get to go first. Oh, damn. That's right. On the double S rank, and the, the double S is just my name for it. It's, it's just the second attempt at the S rank. And it happens to be completely different than the first attempt. Also, beefy as hell. Yup. Bonk. They're still subject to ring outs, so. though. Yeah. Not utterly beefy, thank you. <laughs> I'll just keep those two in reserve for now. <laughs> Creepy woman. Yeah. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> Not your best idea there, buddy. Get out. I wish he'd stayed put, though. It would have been pretty awesome to just, just go bump, 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 and then off. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. This way I can keep the, uh... Bonk. I can keep Xena backwards safe. You just bit that horse in balls. <laughs> it's gotta be brutal. Hey. It's an insect, I don't think it has any. Holy crap! Hey. What? Yep, turns out that the scissor beetles are uh, pretty dangerous. Yoink! <laughs> dangerous for what it's worth. Yeah. Yeah, it, in that its attack also now has knockback. Since Gabriel is down to 72 hit points, let's just do this from a range. Yeah. Hey! I believe that's a purple monarch, by the way. Would make sense. Stack them up. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, these insectors now have near max health. Oh, damn. Not that it matters, because, like, one more attack will kill it. Yep. Yeah, plus you add Emperor's Rage. Two of them on standby. Only if they work, though. Only if they work. True, yeah, that's right. I forgot that they have a chance have to fail. You don't even get good experience for this. Not for this particular fight, now. I'm guessing because I've basically fought her already. You've won! And you do get re reduced experience for fighting the second and subsequent times, compared to the first time at a given level. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, it's, uh, bartender again. 
Our friendly bartender. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got the Emperor Beetle or, or Dark Emperor again. Yeah, that's that's one of like two or three quotes I remember from Battlefield Earth. At least you got your gold. No, it's uh our friendly bartender. Yeah, I know. And then crap lousy ceiling. <laughs> We meet again. And then, and here we go. when you were learning how to spell your spell name. Your name! I was learning to conquer galaxies. I was being trained to conquer galaxies. <laughs> that would be so awful in a great way. My dad watches it all the time, and I have no idea why. He also watches Twister a lot. Huh. Yeah. It's weird. He likes really crappy movies, right but there. like he genuinely enjoys them and thinks that they're good. I don't think he thinks Battlefield Earth is good though. I, I think he watches it because he just doesn't know legitimately good sci-fi. Well, among other things, Battlefield Earth utterly destroyed the Dutch angle. <laughs> Bunk. He's the man who told me that Deep Space Nine wasn't any good. And Deep Space Nine is actually probably my favorite Star Trek. Ooh. Yeah. To his opinion, that is. Not yours. Yeah. Um, and it's because of him I actually still have yet to watch... Um, oh god. A bunch of sci fi that he doesn't like. So. <clears throat> Battlestar Galactica? He, he doesn't like Battlestar Galactica. New or old? I don't think he likes either of them. Huh. Yeah. It's weird. Yoink! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By the way, in the interest of full disclosure, while I did get all the way to S rank on my first attempt, I did have to reset a couple of times during the double S att attempt. Bonk. Now, that was pretty lucky, actually. That was. For both of them to work. You actually knocked out every single one of them. <laughs> yep, and for that, I get... Thank you, that was a good match. Another 40 XP. Also, nobody's gaining any stats anymore. <laughs> Malcolm got a few HP. And which he kind of needs, but that, that amount's still too low. Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> okay! Time for the third! Apparently, that whole embracing technology thing. By the way, look at that. They are named yes. after the Captain Planet elements. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when are we going to run into the uh, Captain Pollution elements? Um, never. Uh oh. But still. I, I don't yeah. even remember what the Captain Pollution elements are. Yeah. But still, you might notice, by the way, that his. Uh, Heart, the Burkok Heart, fighting my hardest, is a gold Dark Emperor. Whoa! It turns out they do come in other colors. Oh, okay, so, but you just happen to get two black ones? No, I don't just happen to. The only way to get a different colored Dark Emperor is to breed it. Oh, okay. Bonk. Just, like, breed it with a random other... Right. Thing. And since I'd rather not, because that would kind of take a while. Oh. Yeah. And it would take away a Dark Emperor in the first place. No, you, you don't have to breed both Dark Emperors together. Yeah, so you could end up potentially like end up with two Gold Emperors. Bonk. And just completely decimate this thing the entire way through. But eh, effort. Gotta be careful here. Bonk. 
Something else to consider in the uh, double S rank is you're not trolling for XP anymore. You want to win. Yeah. Glory to the Bakakwa people. You have to play to win. And thus, uh, taking out the king is now more important than taking out everyone in between. Congratulations! Yeah. And really, winning by knockout is probably your best now bet because of how much life the they have. Hey, hey. Mio is a yeah. What? Round. Turns out that Mio's another champion. Mio plays with bugs. Who would have guessed? What I like is the implication that she played against her two fans and kicked their asses to get here. No, no. What I like to think is that they, pro even though they probably didn't need to let her win, they probably let her win just because it's Mio. No, no. She has another Dark Emperor. I know, I'm just saying, like, they... So, they, quote, whether they let... wanted to or not, they <laughs> got their asses handed to them. Yeah. <laughs> today. Like, let me... Uh, let me check the guide. It's got a list of everybody's, uh... Insectors. And so, yeah, Mio's got, uh... Two rank eights. Oh. The Dark Emperor. Uh, rank six knife beetle. And oddly enough, Maru the rank one lady. Hmm. I mean, it, it has high powered stats, but for some reason it's just. Still rank one? Yeah. So they're pretty much giving everybody a, a Dark Emperor now. Yeah. Everybody gets a Dark Emperor except for the first encounter. And the last. Oh, really? The last guy doesn't have him? No, he doesn't. Hmm. I'm trying to think who the last oh. person would be. Mark's ghost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, when you see who it actually is, you're gonna laugh. Not as... Is it Cho's kid? Is it Simon's kid? <laughs> I'm gonna take your silence as a yes. Take it how you want. <laughs> he's not gonna answer either way because he's always gonna leave us in suspense better that I way. Know. Huh. Oh, hey, they. They're both horrible. That was effective. Okay. Oh. Pretty tough for a rank one. Yeah, I like how she named hers the Red Empress. <laughs> Boink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I love that. That's so much fun. Bouncing here and there and everywhere. Yeah. Whoa! Ooh. Yeah, yeah. That's how it'll go. If at first you don't succeed, then kill your dog trying to. It's adorable! No! Then do your best at least. Or the knife oh, beetle and. It's... Try and kill it. Ouch. Oh, damn. That was twice as powerful its attack last time. I think counterattacks don't have as good or slightly weaker Bonk. attack power. <laughs> yeah. Mio's team is down. Yup. Who's the... You mean I lost? Yes, you did, Mio. How could you, Bobbin? You made her cry. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> is over. You've won. Congratulations. Last round. Last round of the double S rank. And there is a triple S rank, by the way. But it's just double S plus ten it's stats to everything. 
And yeah, you were close about Mark's ghost, but <laughs> no, it's his dad. What? What is that thing in the back there? It's a box. It is utterly unique. There is no other place or time you can encounter that insector. So let's have a look at that. The White Miracle. Maxed out experience. Maxed out condition. It doesn't tell you its stats, but let me let me put it this way. Your max is 100. All of its are above 100. Whoa. Oh dear. And like I said, there is a triple S rank, but it's only really double S beat me. plus 10 stats to everything. P.S. This is attempt four. <laughs> It took me this long to realize that the best way to handle this, essentially, is, um... Well, what I would like to call the, um... Ender's Game strategy. You know, the enemy gate is down. Sacrifice everybody in an attempt to deal damage to IR Max. That's an attack animation. Yes, it's also a Matryoshka. It is an attack animation. It's pretty great, actually. So. Yeah, because here's the thing. It's got a special ability where it attacks everybody in every square around it like it's a mantis. But then it also dizzies everything that it hits with that attack. Wow. And instead of just trying to kill Monarch, it... Yeah, I don't really get it. And of course oh. it doesn't work, because it has over a hundred stats in everything. What do the other guys have? Do they at least have fair stats? No. <laughs> <laughs> they aren't quite as good, but they aren't fair, no. Nothing is fair in this tournament, what are you talking about? This is like the fucking Mario Party of tournaments, okay? try and get rid of one of these guys. Aww. But yeah, the big secret, though, is that if it's already adjacent to, like, one enemy, it won't use its special attack, even though it really ought to. Yeah. Yeah, especially with its infinite uses. Yeah. Bonk. Aha! Get out of here! Ouch. Malcolm! Alright, well, my... Attacker is dead, so it's time to sacrifice my next insector. <laughs> By the way, the strategy guide says that the one weakness of the White Miracle is that it can only move forward or diagonally forward. And as you've already seen by now, that's a damn lie. That is a damn Yoink. lie. What the fuck, book? Bonk. Yeah, on the plus side, it's basically out of power. Its remaining insectors are out of power by now. Yeah. Yeah, the ranged one can't do anything anymore. Yep. Meanwhile, the uh, White Miracle is still safely cornered. So it's time to sacrifice my next insector to get rid of it. I always get close, you know? Yeah. Nice one. But it took me four attempts to beat it. Yeah. Moving to block. <laughs> Finish off his remainders. Yep. Pray that this works. Whoa! Wow. Lucky me, huh? Got it to uh, act defensively, even. <laughs> Joint. And look, you get a perfect victory against him after four attempts. Not perfect, but <laughs> and then you, you get know a knockout. I mean. <laughs> yeah, but since I actually managed to do this without him using his special ability once. I've included a bit from one of my failed runs, just after this, to show it off. I admit it, I lost. 
Well, yeah, of course you lost. You have to admit it. You just lost on national television, I am assuming. Aha! See, notice the uh, grouping of my uh, units this time. Yeah. Oh, damn. 200 damage to everything and dizzy for two to three rounds. Yeah, that, that pretty much match ended that match right there. <laughs> yeah. A magnificent battle. Please give them a big round of applause. But I won! Yay! Woohoo! For beating it twice, you get... Lilica's final outfit. Which also happens to be the final, final outfit of the entire game. I have... Hmm. I now have every last outfit that was ever put in the game. <laughs> So it's, um... Yeah, hmm. It's... a thing. It's orange. It's orange and black. It's very Halloween-y. Odd way to cut an outfit, but... Okay. <laughs> hey, you don't leave me behind! That's cruel! Shut up, Jupus! <laughs> That's the last time I might yet be able to say path, that. Are we? All right, let's see what your final time is. Yep, one final save after everything is done. 106 hours. I think you're a little ahead in the video. No, I saw I saw it as you paused. Oh. Yeah, it appeared yeah. for a second before you saved. Well, there it is. 106 and 45 or 47 minutes. Wow. But wait. There's more. There is. You have to push R2 when starting a new game. R1. And yeah. R2, R1, almost the same button. But that's not quite everything, though. You see, because I finished the S rank of the Insectron, there's a new button. <laughs> Welcome to the Insectron battle menu. <laughs> That's actually a cool little graphic there. Yeah. Got, got one of everything here. So from here, you can actually fight in multiplayer. Oh. Or you can be a loser and watch the computer fight itself. What? Yeah. Well, just wait, because you see how it's talking about passwords? That's right. So, I can go down here, register from save file. Since I just saved the game, I can load data off of that save. And you see it's very convenient. It tells you uh, how many insects you have, what rank you reached with that file. And then next, you can determine the exact team you want to put in. Hmm. Gotta remember to skip the Ultimate Warrior. Yeah. You can even tell it exactly what layout you're going to put your insects in. And which one's the king. And what the name of your team is. Dongs. No. I think I'm going to go with something else. Zoidberg. <laughs> hmm. 
な。Bobbin's Beasts. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Also, there's a victory code that displays once the team has been beaten. And of course, if you want to see what I type here, you'll have to beat my team. <laughs> Ooh. Will you tell me what you typed in? Because I'll never play this game. Nope. Come on. If you want to be, if you want to know what I wrote, I don't even own this game anymore. Then input this code into your game. Oh, <laughs> and it'll pop up if you beat my team. Damn it, man! Don't make me track down this game. <laughs> and by the way, this is an open call here. I want passwords. I don't care if you find them for yourself, or if you get them from friends, or if you find them on the internet. I want codes. So I can make one last video of my team versus your teams, CPU versus CPU. I think I might do it. I think I might go home and try to find my own copy of this game. I I sold mine long ago when I realized I was never going to play it again. <laughs> Still, it'll be an interesting thing. I mean, this is as close to multiplayer as this game ever gets. It'd be nice to at least show it off. Yeah. Yeah. I already know of where I can find a couple of codes. They're actually on the Rogue Galaxy wiki. Oh, okay. But still, if anybody in the thread is playing along and manages to beat Insectron S rank, I want to see your codes. I want to beat your team. But until then, there is that one other thing to deal with. Now, I'm not sure when it checks whether or not you're holding down R1, so just hold it down the entire time. You're pretty strong. And then once you get uh, control over your own character, Go into items, and every outfit you ever collected will be in your inventory. Huh. Oh, you're not going to wear desert claws in front of him? <laughs> no, I thought about it, but you'll also notice that um, it does not uh, allow you to equip outfits for characters you don't have yet. Although, everything considered, there is that one other question that I know that has been asked before, and... The residential area is beyond here. Watch his mouth. Oh, oh please! Must be rather it's lip-synced and everything! You're not planning on having all three That's amazing! There, are you? Yeah, he's by he gets his face no, back no. and everything! Totally reckless. You know, Mr. Claw... I think you forfeit any It's actually got a little scar there. To, uh, die. Yeah, yeah. That's a good touch. Yeah. Uh, hey, wait up! Poor kid. We hardly knew him. 